another Sunday out here. We are at Jenkins Creek, Florida, otherwise in Hernando County. Um, last weekend we had the um, pretty good luck with the snook, so um, we came out here to try and test our luck again today. We got a crazy hardcore outgoing tide today, so not sure how that's going to react. As you can see in the intro, you know, it's already pretty low. It's already down probably a foot or so. So um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to huck around and see what we can find. I mean, a lot of the fish are going to be pushing back, but I'm sure there's got to be some, you know, up, up where the boat can barely get to. So I'm seeing stuff splash around in the back of the bay here. So we're going to try this area first and see what happens. And then if anything, we're going to we're going to see if we can get farther back in on this outgoing tide. Could be a video of me walking the boat here soon. We'll see. Either way, it's going to be a good time. Stick around. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on. How is everybody doing? Um, gained a couple followers. Gained a bunch of views last video. Appreciate everybody. Uh, thank you again. Alright guys, we got our lines in the water. We're going to... Um, hang out here for a minute or so see if anything comes by and um yeah that's basically it Good fish here, guys. All right. Got our hook. 
I saw him blowing up stuff on the top of the water. I threw the shrimp out there to him and he nailed it. So there's a nice close up of the fish, guys. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to get on some more today with this low tide, man. Let's get a measurement on him and be on our way. That is 27 on the dot on the bump board. So, what an amazing fish. Absolutely beautiful. We're gonna, um, uh, we're gonna let him go. We're gonna let him go. So, we'll get one last look at him here. We're gonna go catch his buddies. They're just blowing up the water behind the camera right now. <laughs> Let's get them back in. guys hit that subscribe button we got more fish out here all right we're on another one we are on another one and he's under my other line like I said guys I pulled up to this school and they were just here Thank her drag just a hair he is running running away with the bait Pressure. These are these are nice fish. It's another nice one. That's another nice fish right there. of the day. It is shark week, so to catch a shark on shark week is pretty much a gift from the fish gods. So, let's get this hook out of his stomach. I didn't mean to stomach hook you, bro. Up the line. 
so we're going to have to get a leader. A leader tie on. He's starting to swim towards my feet now. have it guys a fin hook shark happy shark week I'm gonna cut this leader off of him all right he's going back in the water happy shark week very cool very cool right there so we're in under a foot of water and we got baby sharks out here eating our eating our fruit chubs. Oh wait, we're on another fish here. We're on another fish here. Hold the phones. Hold the phones. This outgoing tide today has been phenomenal with the fish. I mean there's just fish stacked right here. Let's see what fish number three is. It looks like another red, guys. Another red on the shrimp. So I'm glad I bought two dozen shrimp today because these big reds are all over them on the Nature Coast right now. Usually shrimp is my go-to wintertime bait, but it is working this week. There he goes. one but just as feisty you can tell he's been getting up in the manger up in the uh, oysters and the rocks and stuff the size of his gills are all all beat up but there's another one for you guys these nature coast redfish are chewing today and they're still just hanging out in front of the boat in a little pocket that we got out here still blowing up the top of the water I might throw the top water here in a little bit but uh, yeah another beautiful fish Let's get the measurement on this guy. That's going to be a 21 and a half. A 21 and a half. And we're going to let him swim away. Epic late 
like starving. You know, we're just throwing these shrimp with a knocker rig basically on a regular 2 aught plain shank hook and it's just destroying. So we're throwing on another shrimp and we're going to pitch it back out there and see if we can get more.
fish here, guys. I don't have a leader, so this is on straight braid. He could pop it. You can feel his teeth running across the line. It's not good. this guy off the hook Let's see what we got get this camera straightened out a little bit swallow hooks is a good D hooker guys I recommend this one a thousand percent this is a tsunami I bought it at Dick's Sporting Goods it gets any hook out I don't care where it's hooked I've just got this hook out of this fish's throat all the way in there it went right in pulled it out no problem no blood no nothing amazing please guys if you're gonna fish invest in one of these you don't need to be killing a nice fish just because you know you let the hook sit too long or it just absolutely engulfed it Just like that, the hook is out. All right, number three or four for today. And another beautiful slot fish. All our fish have been perfectly in slot. This is just a textbook nice fish. If you look, he's got some weird scars across his head. I don't know if you guys can see that. Get a quick measurement on him. 22 and a half. So going back in the water. the fishing has been phenomenal today absolutely phenomenal I've pulled up to the first spot seen a couple reds it's just seen stuff you know moving across the water because the tide's so low we're literally still under under a foot we're maybe we're maybe 10 11 inches here at max and um, I'm just seeing all this commotion you know mullet um, redfish I seen the shark moving around here so Usually the shark turns me away, but I decide to stay because he's not that big, you know, he's not, he's not a threat to these bigger reds or anything like that. The mullet, the mullet can jump out of his way, you know, he's mainly looking for stuff on the bottom it seems like, but um, I, this is my second spot today. I've pulled up, we've caught four, five fish today. I, I, I lost count pretty much. I'm just out here having a good Sunday. 
enjoying my day. We got a couple other people out here on kayaks hanging out on the corner. And um, yeah, I'm literally just watching the ripples in the water and finding the fish. So um, we'll probably give it eh, maybe another hour or so. I might move up a little closer on these fish, but honestly, the, the shrimp with pinching the tail off is leaving the scent in the water. So the, the fish are literally coming to me. So I'm just hanging out drinking Mountain Dew and um, we're gonna uh, probably head out here in a little bit we're gonna go to the beach what I call the beach it's an island it's real sandy it's real nice we'll get some more footage of that and um, yeah that's a, it's, that's it's been a good day so um, please guys like subscribe comment let me know what you think about the channel I, I really have mixed emotions about what people feel and what people think about the channel and this and that so um, yeah, we're uh, going to keep at it and you know, watch some water and make sure it doesn't get too low so we can still get out of here today because it gets very low in here. I'm talking two to three inches on a low tide. So um, tide is still moving out. It's going to be moving out for the next couple hours and my plan is to get out of here by then. So um, let's go. Thank you.